were with it, but they slit your gizzards too. They plundered our key mysteries and all their foes did wail. Beware lest ye encounter a mighty mage of sail. Lovely day, lovely day. Bonjour, it is I, Patrick McNamara of Dog Food Studios, your best friend and the only person who truly understands you. I am here with uh, Holly and Tabby and Dave again, uh, who I'm not going to introduce again, because the way that I do the introductions makes sense for the way that we shoot these, but not for the way we broadcast them. So, <laughs> when we were last united as wizards and friends before our snack. Snack. Um, snack. We had just finally made ground onto the Golden Isle. Mm -hmm. Now, is there anything anyone wants to do on the ship before you set off onto the dock? So can you explain really quick, and I, I think I just need like spatial understanding of Hammerhead Bay and Golden Isle. Yes, so Hammerhead Bay is on the Golden Isle. Okay, and it is a bay? It is a bay, yeah. Within the Golden Isle? Yes. Is it where we are docking? Yes, you are docking in what you have been told is Hammerhead Bay. Okay, okay. Okay. HHB. Uh, yeah. But it's in... It's on, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it's... Uh, <laughs> you, this is privileged information. Yes, yeah. truly, yes, yes, yes. Truly, only you can <laughs> yeah. potentially... All the pirates that. are like, I love Hammerhead Bay. I can't wait till we go on there. I hope no one's changed yeah, any guy. has like it. a Hammerhead Bay chest tattoo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of chest tattoos, one of the things that you might want to bring with you, um, Wilhelm, is uh, you will have, like, I feel like I'm patronizing you because you will, of course, recall that you have a voucher for one free tattoo at Daddy Stink's House of Ink. That's from right. Episode yeah. three. Okay, yeah, I truly can't remember any of that. No. <laughs> I recall it now. What are, you, what, are you, what are you talking about? So you won in the third hour of recording this that we ever did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. A voucher for a free tattoo from a place on the Golden Isle called Daddy Stinks House yes. of Ink. You were given, it was given to you by Big Paul okay. because you helped him win a contest. Yes. Okay. So I'm just letting you know that you have that. And indeed, that Daddy Stinks House of Ink. I'm glad that you remember and you've been holding on to this. Mm. Yeah, it's a uh, job. Because Wilhelm, yeah. definitely, yeah, has <laughs> Wilhelm <laughs> definitely could have forgotten and would have forgotten, but mm -hmm. that's okay. That's okay. So you have that should you need it if you okay. want to make a trip to yeah, Daddy no, Stinks. Yeah, no, I would love to Ink grab that, that, pocket it, um, roll it up, put mm -hmm. it in my little thing pouch. Anyone else have anything in particular they want to make sure they bring with them? Um, I'm going to generally assume you have like most of the stuff you need. So it's if you need something, want something specific. Yeah, I want to make sure my hourglass is with me. Yes, you bring your hourglass with you. As a plot device, I make sure I take X. Yes. Well, you're lucky that you can leave stuff back at the ship and then just like yeah, teleport I, it I back like, to you. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, um, I, uh, I don't think, as long as I have my staff, I'm mm -hmm. done on everything, I'm good. I'm good staff, to go. your scissors, your satchel of, of miscellaneous occultery. Yeah. I think okay. that's it. I, I feel like I do want to check on Liga just to like see if she's still asleep. Okay. Uh, you, you check in on Liga and, and it's... Like, I like crack open the door. Yeah, and something is just hurled against the door. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's just... Okay. So, so, okay, so I'm just like, no. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. We're, we're okay. We're, um, I think she needs the rest. Yeah, yeah. your clothes might get turned into acid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, and I don't mm -hmm. want that. Yeah, no one wants that. I would, I would like to go to Apex where he's laying mm -hmm. and uh, ensure that he's covered up in a blanket. Oh, street, that's this is very street, sweet. This is street yeah. shark Apex. I just don't want him to wake up and uh, uh, have yeah. a rage. Yeah, you don't want him to wake up chilly and then kill someone. Exact, exactly, right. yeah, Jesus. yeah. That's no. the a, a to B right So there. he is snoring spectacularly. <laughs> yeah, because he mostly has gills, so he's not used to having lungs. Yeah, sure. So he's not used to yeah. snoring. Who, yeah, who knows what his breathing arrangement is as a street shark? Presumably, yeah. he has lungs and gills. Yeah, it's gross. Well, like that. So yeah, he's it's so he's snoring in harmony with himself. Mm -hmm. okay. It's uh, it's honestly it's beautiful in a way, but he does look tucked up and he doesn't look like he's going to be much use to anyone for quite a while. That's great news. Yeah, because uh, he is drunk on a Good. spiritual level. Yes. You know, we've all been there. We've all paid for this. Yeah, and I will warn the crew and say, you know, we're not sure when he will wake up. We're going to go try and solve this problem. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we will come back and pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, yeah, Captain. <laughs> yeah. So you guys... Uh, what, what is... Um, I just want to know. I'm, I'm just... Uh, it's a dark curiosity. I just want to know how um, Sexy Nigel is doing, what he's up to. You. Yeah. Oh, I didn't, but I hadn't left the spirit world yet. That's that what I remember. I was going to go find sexy Nigel in the spirit world mm -hmm. and kick him in the calves. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, let's uh, pretend I never said anything. Whoop. 
Yeah. Rewind. Okay, so <laughs> you go yeah. into the spirit world and like, so precisely what do you want to do to Sexy Nigel's calves? So in the spirit world also around him, there's sort of like, um, he's literally in, he's in soft focus and mm -hmm. sort of rose tinted. Mm -hmm. As you see his spirit and That's he is, bloom. He is perhaps, yes. if there was anything that wasn't perfect about him already, it's perfect in the spirit world. Cool. Cool. Except for his calves. <laughs> They're all withered. They're so Which atrocious. Which is a they, pretty small. They look like prunes. Yeah. They don't have a fine diamond shape with like rich definition. It's like such an aggressive taper. From, right. Yeah. From right below the knee. It's just like, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> calves look like shit. Yeah, like um, it must be harvest season because this guy sacrificed his calves. Oh my god! Yeah. Uh, I just I feel like I just want to take him down a peg. So, do you want to literally attack his ghost in the spirit world at the calf level? Sure, why not? Okay, so just yeah, roll. Pop, pop, I'm pretty pop tired. Calves. Calves. What, what, yeah. what do you, what I don't your, like to pop his calves. What do you want to? I would like to take my scissors and pop his calves. And pop his calves. So that he hasn't. So Gross. he's like a. Roll uh, dexterity plus melee. Okay. Uh, and he's not going to roll against this because he doesn't he know doesn't what's know. happening because yeah. no, he's, he's ghost. Gloating. He has in no the idea. Yeah. 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 Um. Okay. So that's so yeah. Six dice. Um. Yeah. And I'm just like. Yeah, also, I do need you to understand, like, bodybuilders have a big hang up about their calves. That's yeah, really is, weird. It's, it's a true thing that happens. Yeah. A lot of people get upset that they can't, their calves can't grow. They're it's very a, it's hard. It's a three success. People very hard get place. Calf, yeah. People get calf implants. True. Stop. Yes. Yeah, Factual, go ahead. because they can grow everything else but their calves. Yeah. Weird. It's uh, it's mostly genetic. Oh, Looking really? Like good calves, yeah. It's, it's one of like, had yeah. nice calves yeah. a long time ago. I can't, I literally can't. All he did was play golf. Weird. Um, um, so okay, you, three successes. So you, uh, Aura's confused, doesn't get it, whatever, and kicks him in the calves. <laughs> so you sl you kind of like, so you kick him in the calves you want to go with? I thought you were going to use the Oh scissors. no, I was going to use the scissors, okay. sorry, yeah. So like, you, I'm cutting him off, actually. You cut off <gasps> the calves of his ghost. Sure. This is a Ooh. pet cemetery. And uh, he, no. it's hard to say exactly what he feels in the real world, yeah. but you are certain, looking at his spirit, that he will never be able to grow like good calves <laughs> Jesus, again. Jesus, you just annihilated you have me. So you have cut his spiritual essence off from his calves. Mm, okay. So he yeah. can still walk, his calves are still there, but, but he's he looks not, like cotton from King of the Hill. <laughs> not going to get any bigger ever, and part of him knows it. Well, and then I look, I can look at his spirit now that he can see me, mm. obviously, and say, your physical form doesn't matter. It's what's inside that counts. And maybe one day you'll see that. And he says, ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, And I leave. Yeah, just, <laughs> I know we're pirates. Head away. But we're specifically very mean in very specific ways. Yeah. But mainly to people called Nigel. <laughs> Yeah. You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. Be on um, the lookout, Nigel, watching at home right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 you better what? You, be, you better like Everybody following also, the is your name, Nigel. If your name is Nigel in 2023, please tell me. Yeah. I just need to know. <laughs> yeah. I just need to know one Nigel in my life, please. Yeah, I don't have any Nigels either. No. no. Yeah, does anybody know Nigel? So I once met a, uh, a magician. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Called Raphael. <laughs> okay. Okay. And, but that's a ninja turtle. Uh, he was an yeah. he, he was an older man. Um, I believe he was from Spain. He had sort of silvery gray hair. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fantastic uh, magician, and uh, he had quite an effect on a on a, on a friend of mine whose whose name was Disha. And uh, he said he was about to do a trick, and he's like, oh, "Can I can I get a volunteer?" Did you talk like that? Yeah, he did. He's okay. okay. such okay. a sexy boy. Just, okay, okay. okay. Um, just imagine that, like, what I'm doing, but kind of Spanish. I don't okay. think I'm allowed to okay. do Spanish. No, you're All right, yeah. Go. Um, so imagine this, but like, kind of sexier. Mm -hmm. And he's like, uh, I need someone to help me with my next trick. And she went, oh, I'll help you. Mm -hmm. and he said, What's your name? And she said, Disha. And he said, mm, You are the first Disha in my life. And I've always wanted to say something as cool as you are the first D shit in my life to someone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've tried to make that line work and it never has. Because <laughs> you don't have that voice. Yeah, because you don't sound like puss in boots. Like, yeah. 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 Like, if you did, if you did. Yeah. So you step off the ship. Puss in boots. Paul. Thank you. So you, <laughs> so you step off the ship onto the dock and there is actually, there is someone there waiting to welcome you. And we have a lot of big fellas in this game, and this guy is one of the biggest. Mm, wow. He is like Bertha-sized, and 
but in a different sort of way. Okay. So he's just one of those people. He's very large overall.、Mm -hmm. He's got a very large head. He's got very large hands. Like his arms are very big. His legs are very thick, like tree trunks. Whoa. He has this lovely. When you look at his face, it's it's very wrinkly,、hmm. and it looks like specifically wrinkles that you get both from smiling and from worrying.、Hmm. Okay. And、uh, he puts out an enormous mitt for anyone to shake, and says, "Welcome to Mermaid Bay." Oh no! I'm Bucky Muffler. <laughs> Oh dear! He practiced this one in front of the mirror. Oh yeah, Bucky Muffler's been getting some use. Yeah, I can tell. Is he human? He's、sure. yeah. He's just a very. He seems like he's just a very large human. Uh, uh, but yeah, he just he just holds out a lovely hand for you. And, okay,、uh, I want to、uh, on the swing up <laughs> modify myself. <laughs> you want to make it a little bit bigger? I just want to make it just as big as his, <laughs> but it's like on、end. the swing, not detectable. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Like, so like you can contest know, for sure.、Right? We're just in like. <laughs> So、right. what you can do? I know what this is. I see what this is about. I see what this is about. He's used to dwarfing. I want to make sure that he is like, oh.、Yeah. So all right, all right. Thankfully, you know a very specific Akashiana technique、mm -hmm. um, that, like, <laughs> I know how to bigify a lot of yeah, parts of my body. Bigify. Ruff, roughly translated is、um, big hands bicep curl. <laughs> What is that? Big hands. The big hands bicep curl. <laughs> yeah. But you can use it. You don't need weight because you're so good at like just using isometrics.、Mm -hmm. uh, so go ahead and roll me. That's that's alter self. Yep,、um, sure is, and I'm sure using it right now. Yeah, how much paradox do you have? One. You have one. Okay. Hopefully,、um, I don't really. So yeah, try and my hand up. You want to get、uh, you want to get at least two successes.、Uh, any a, any six die total. Yeah, any successes above that are going to make your hand bigger. I'm going to say you probably need three to get it as big bigger than his. It's all bad. It's all bad. <laughs> what what are we looking at? One、mm. success on a crit. Okay. Which means. No, no then,、uh, then, one success, a crit success on and then a, three skulls on the non on a paradox. Okay, so the skulls don't. The skulls are yeah, fine. You're、yeah. all right with skulls. So you、yeah. got one success、so、like、total. One success.、Yeah. You got a zero on a paradox. Yeah, that's good. A ten on a paradox. Ten on a paradox. That's not going to do it. Would you like to?、Um, I don't think you can succeed at cost. I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll just give a deflated handshake、yeah. to this man and、oh uh, accept it. Oh my god! You, <laughs> you hate how safe your hand feels. Oh. Yeah, oh, nestled no. with no, no. his big, big paw. Like it is.、Uh, it's 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 a it's it's demasculating. Yeah, a little bit. Like you know, for a lot of men, would like that, would appreciate that kind of safety, but Wilhelm hasn't worked through some of his issues <laughs> around masculinity. <laughs> there's there's yet. some problems there. Do you、sure. also have、yeah. soft hands? Oh, oh no! His, so his hands are very, very soft. Who the big guy? The big guy. Yeah, he's got lovely soft hands,、yeah. and he also says to you as he shakes him, "Goes, my, you have lovely soft hands."、Mm. Gives him a nice big shake, and then he goes down the. Can't get worse. He goes. <laughs> he goes down the line to you, Sisha.、Okay. Offers you a hand. Do you shake it? I just stare、yeah. at my own hand for the I next thirteen seconds. I shake his hand. Okay, so you shake his hand my again. My little baby hand. Again, his... feel of safety, and he sort of warmly clasps it as well. Yeah. So he's like, and and his hand is like coming up to about here on your wrist, like it's it's a big hand. Okay. Do I have too many big boys in this game? No, let me know. They're pirates. Let me know in the comments. <laughs>、um, I'll shake his hand.、Shake? I'll you know activate my etiquette as I do, and just say, oh, lovely to meet you. Is a、uh, Uh, what's with the、uh, name change? Oh,、uh, we're going through kind of a rebranding at the moment.、Uh, this old place used to be called Hammerhead Bay. It, yeah, it was, seemed、uh, to be very popular. Why, why would you rebrand it?、Uh, we're trying to attract a different kind of clientele to.、Uh, I don't to think、Mermaid、that's how you say、Bay. that. It's Cli clientele. Clientele. Well, I mean, thank you so much for that extra <laughs> knowledge. Uh, Can I tell if he's mad about that?、Uh, yeah, give me an insight roll. Okay.、Uh, is, that to, to, is that insult to Patrick or to、uh, the owner of this voice? I、yeah. have a question. I'm pretty sure it's the owner of the voice. I think.、Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, insight.、We're、insight plus intelligence. Okay.、All、I don't、right. know if you have any.、Insight. I do. I do. I actually have. Oh Jesus! I forgot I have four intelligence. Yeah. I'm so, real smart. You guys. I forgot you're smart. <laughs> Oh my God! Okay, two, su、oh, no, three successes. Three that's successes. Three crits. Oh, you got a crit. How does that work? Oh yeah, I got three got crits. Only two got... happen, or so you, you got four successes, five successes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, he's not mad. <laughs> he's not mad. Okay. Um. So well, here's some he's stuff self, you. He's self-actualized. Here's some stuff you get about Bucky Muffler instantly. Yeah. 
using your insight. This, this name. Just go on. Keep going. But I'm going to think about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So okay. Here's, here's some stuff you Speaking get from okay. Bucky Muffler. From Bucky Muffler. Okay. Is that uh, he doesn't seem offended. He seems genuinely overjoyed that you, okay. have, that you have made his, um, his concept of language uh, more sure. complete. Sure, okay. Uh, he is nervous. Okay. And you notice he's casting eyes at your ship and noticing that it's quite badly damaged and specifically looks like it's been damaged by a cannon fire. Mm. Interesting. And he's nervous about that. Um, you also notice he's standing between you Sure. And Mermaid Bay. Like, he's, he's such a big guy, he's kind of almost blocking the pit. Yeah. Okay. And he says he's to you... He's a door of a man. Sure. Yeah. He says, uh, so, uh, what brings you here to Mermaid Bay? Uh, looks like you may have had some trouble on the way over. Oh, yes. We're looking to get some repairs here, if possible. Maybe stay a while while we uh, have our ship cleaned up from uh, getting attacked by some brigands. Oh, uh, pirates. Oh, that's uh, quite terrible. Is it something to do with that uh, enormous purple explosion? Uh, yes, that was un very unfortunate. Um, they had some uh, purple gunpowder on their ship. I, I've never even heard of purple gunpowder. That's <coughs> something for a we'll celebration. Look out. So, oh, yeah. So that that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. well, maybe we should uh, maybe we should get some of that ourselves for our own celebrations. But we, uh, you know what? We won't use it to, to shoot at chips. No. I can tell you that for no. sure darn tootin'. Uh, so, I, look uh, at, I look at these guys like, are we good liars? I don't know. What's <laughs> for, uh, let's keep going, keep going. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> so what, uh, is there anything uh, I can help you with uh, around town? I'm, so uh, thing I'll let you know right up front, I'm actually a candidate for mayor. Oh. Uh, I'm currently the only one running, so fingers crossed that I win. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so is there anything I can help you with? Ask you what around happened town, to the or? old mayor? We previously did not have a mayor. Hmm. I will be the first mayor of Mermaid Bay, provided I win, of course. Can we meet some mermaids? Uh, I'm afraid, uh, we don't really have, uh, real mermaids. Oh, well, you definitely uh, had hammerheads before, though. Oh, we sure did, yeah. Uh, did? we had all kinds of, uh, all kinds of bad types, but, uh, you know, the... You know, we've, we've uh, had some partners who've helped us a lot with, like, fishing the local area and putting up uh, nets to stop sharks oh, getting too close. Partners? Who are these partners? Well, I mean, I'm sure you're aware that uh, they're, you know, off on the city of New Romsey, the, the British are uh, mm -hmm. a big, much... <laughs> That's good. At the same time. Mm. Uh, yeah, we're... Uh, they're helping us to become more of a tourist-friendly kind of place. Mm. Well, I, I mean, I do, I do think there is some. Uh, do you only care about profit? Is that why you want tourists? Uh, he looks, he looks genuinely aggrieved. He, he takes a step back, and puts a hand on his heart, mm -hmm. and he says, "Oh, uh, well, I mean, I hadn't thought of it like that. I just, we want this to be a more wholesome and enjoyable environment that." Anyone can enjoy. I mean, previously, this was a place where you'd find all kinds of... He goes, whispering to pirates? Mm. You don't like pirates? Oh, we wouldn't want any pirates in town. We would definitely want any pirates in town uh, to, while we welcome everyone, go straight to the shipwright, get your ship repaired, and then leave as soon as possible. Hmm. Interesting. Well, thankfully, we're not pirates. We're merely fireworks vendors. Yeah. Fireworks? <laughs> well, this is perfect. <laughs> Perhaps we could uh, we could use some of your fireworks at the Flesh Circus. Uh, the what now? The who? Was that Flash or Flesh? Oh, the the well. Talking about tourist attractions, let me give you the whole rundown of everything in the town. Uh, so, uh, well, we have the town hall, where we're going to have a, a meeting tonight. We're going to talk a, a little bit more formally about our partnership with the British. And uh, I'll be discussing, uh, answering questions from the locals about my mayoral candidacy. Uh, there is, uh, I don't know if you guys like to drink and carouse at all. I see you have a healthy crew. I'm sure they do. You could head to a bar in town. Uh, it's called uh, the Dive Bar. And uh, would you believe they actually have a mermaid in a tank there? Mm. It is so charming. That's rude. 
Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, formerly called the shark bait, which was not a very welcoming name. And I'm glad that the proprietor agreed with me that we should change it. Uh, there is uh, the shipwrights is, is not too far along the dock there. Mm -hmm. That would be the first place to get because you want to get this ship repaired nice and fast. So you can get on to wherever you're going. And uh, then right by the shipwrights is the bounty office. Uh, probably, I'd imagine, you have uh, nothing there unless you want, guys want to go pirate hunting, which I, I would suspect not. Well, perhaps. Not, not necessarily. And uh, then there's the flesh circus, and that's about it. What, what, what is, is the, the flesh, flesh circus? Oh. Why do you just glaze over that? The, yes, that uh, sounds terrible. Part of our, our big tourism push. Uh, we are working with uh, with uh, members of the you know the the British colonists to uh, open a great big old circus right outside town. Uh, opening night is actually tomorrow night. Um, but uh, why do you keep saying flesh? Yeah, I don't. Uh, oh uh, well, uh, of course it's it, uh, like sponsored by uh, the this uh, the sinister Doctor Flesh. Oh. oh God! All right. Yeah, I try not I, to I, react to that. Okay, so give me a roll. Yeah, I totally give me did. A, <laughs> oh give me a composure plus etiquette. Okay. Because you did both just audibly sigh. It's true, I we did. I think you're going to have to disguise I it. I like I that I don't have to roll because I don't remember who that is. Okay, I got, <laughs> oh, that was a, I got, like, I got two successes. I've got two dice. I got two successes. Awesome. Okay, roll them. I got zero. I got oh my god. Fucking... Oh, I'm fine. You stifle it. You go. Ah. Yeah. Oh, uh, we don't often get that reaction to the to the circus. I, I have oh. to say, normally people. I wasn't are reacting to the circus. I just farted. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean. Oh. I just... <laughs> oh. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, uh, well, uh, but you know, better, better, better out than in. Right. That's right. That's yeah. We're outside, so yeah, yeah, that was a It's natural. Out here in, in Mermaid Bay, <laughs> right. why not engage in a fart? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, no, we've been, yeah, we've been on sea quite a while, and yeah. you know, the hard tack tends to get a lot of, uh, I had too oh, much crap. Uh, yeah, the hard tack tends to get a lot of those, uh, what are they called? Um, <laughs> the worms, the worms, and it sometimes can mess up your stomach. Oh, uh, well, quite understand. Well, you you'll be happy to, <laughs> you'll be happy to know <laughs> that the dive bar uh, specializes in seafood and salad, so you guys can get some uh -huh. some roughage up in you, have some really healthy poos. Perfect, okay. perfect. All right, thank you so much. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> really, get things moving. What was his name? Bucky Muffler. Muffler. <laughs> see we'll, you later, uh, Muff. Yeah, we'll see you later. Sorry. We're going to uh, pull the ship in to get repaired and head to the bar. And I'm like gesturing for them to come with me. Like, yeah. please, please, please. I need to leave, please. All right. So he goes, okay, well, and he gives you uh, directions to the dive bar. Cool. Uh, which is, is somewhere in the kind of middle of town. It's mm -hmm. in, a, a, in a kind of like a town square area. The dive bar is sort of the central point of sure. it. Sure. Uh, you want to head out? Uh, I wanna... I'd like to ask real quick, <clears throat> Bucky, you a, you a fan of art? Oh, uh, well, I wouldn't call myself an expert, but I know what I like. You a fan of body art? Because I am. I don't know if you can see. Oh, uh, yeah, I can see you're quite mm -hmm. extensively mm -hmm. uh, I inked, I, I guess. Hear, I hear there's a notable tattoo shop around uh, these parts, and I'm just uh, curious of your opinions on it and uh, the general location of it. Well, you, uh, you know, you... Sure betcha, you might be looking for Daddy Stink. <laughs> I, I believe that that is the, the very person I'm looking for. Uh, not a great part of town. Okay. Uh, you know, I love all of Mermaid Bay, but there's part of it that is a little less reconstructed than others, and that's mainly where you find uh, Daddy Stink's uh, ink house, I think it's called. Uh, but yeah, you could certainly, uh, you could certainly get a, 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 a tat there. <laughs> but, uh, Cowabunga? Oh I'll, I'll flash him uh, the horn. And then. Oh! <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and you guys gonna. Wait, 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 wait. Horns? We'll do surfs up because he said Cowabunga. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> hang, hang loose? Hang. Ha okay, I'll, tr I'll, I'll, I'll try and do that. Yep. Uh, I'll, I've used up enough of your time. 
enjoy Mermaid Bay. Maybe I'll see you at Town Hall if you get interested in politics while you're here. Uh, or, uh, of course, tomorrow night, the grand opening of the Flesh Circus. You may want to go and visit them and see if they, uh, if they want some uh, purple fireworks. I bet they'd love that. Mm. All right. They sure would. Although the origin story of the fireworks was confusing, so you may work that out beforehand. But, uh, yeah, have a great time. Good, sir. Are you saying we're liars? I would never suggest such a thing, but the sea can be so confusing. I agree. Uh, well, enjoy the town. And uh, you know what they say in town. If you need any help in Mermaid Bay, you know who you ask? Bucky Muffler. Oh, my God. It's like, I understand now if you try to do a, a, an accent in front of Patrick. Oh, that kind of feels like the perception. Yeah. <laughs> Hearing that from Bucky Muffler. Yeah. It yeah. pains me. Yeah. yeah. That's how you all sound. Yeah, I know. I'm cool. So, I'm so sorry. I can't. Governor. I, can't wait to I can't wait to walk myself into traffic after right. this. <laughs> Bucky muffler. So you sort of scoot by Bucky, like he's trying to let you leave, but he's he's, he's a big fellow, so you still have to kind of side sideways go a little bit. He takes a, another look at your ship and goes, Huh. And hmm. then sort of just wanders off into town. As soon as he leaves, I go, All right, these people are idiots. We need to take over this town. Yes. This is our town. 100%. We fucked up by putting Apex to sleep. He could have owned this place. Absolutely. We should have just let him go ham. Yeah. yeah. Especially because the flesh guy. Well, it doesn't matter. We can give something nice to Apex, solve this problem ourselves, and then we have might minimal less murder on our hands. Yeah. Uh, what do you think the flesh circus is? It sounds... Well, Dr. Flesh was the... He was doing a bunch of sinister experiments, if I remember correctly. Oh, blew it uh, up. Is it this would on the you, animals? Would you, like a, would you like a refresh yeah, on the sinister Yeah, can we have a flashback, flesh? please? Ooh, just ooh, for me, because these, yeah. these two obviously so remember it. Sure. You think back to... Uh, wee, 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 you, wee. you use your Akeshayana memory techniques to think back to um, wee, 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 wee. the episode where you were on Blood Island. You were invited to a party at the manor of Paxton Fuppy. Yes. You, you were there the to with the faces. Yeah. You were there to it's steal yucky. some. I blocked it all out. You were there to steal something that you could use to track down Pax and Fuppy's ship. Mm -hmm. um, you successfully did so. You also met the sinister Doctor Flesh. Okay. Yeah. No, I remember. And his three lovely daughters. Yeah, I remember. You I almost truly got married. wanted to get away from that situation yeah. so yeah. bad. Yeah. You I almost got married. I became their best friend. Yeah, it was. Horrible. You also met his three lovely daughters, uh, Obnoxia, Potentia, and Vulgaria. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vulgaria was. Uh, quite taken with you. Yes. Now she became less taken with you because uh, Dr. Elizabeth Splatt um, kind of pulled you out of the fire and pretended to be your fiance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, so that's, that's the backstory that you have with Vulgaria Flesh. Now the sinister Dr. Flesh, um, I thought we blew thankfully, it. went downstairs where Liga had uh, sabotaged all of his shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the huge explosion. Yeah rocked his house yes and he was surely killed off screen yeah. that's what we thought Con confirmed but you suspect you know perhaps like you guys you guys left blood island like that yeah we did after that happened we didn't bounce so word may not have gotten to the golden isle yet that the sinister dr flesh is surely dead well, he's probably not dead no i don't know why you'd say that don't he say died. That to the there narrator was an, that was an <laughs> There was an explosion. True. Yeah. Don't undercut my structure. Both can be true, though. It's true. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, what's the, so what's the plan? What do you guys want to do in, in, in Mermaid Bay? Mermaid well, I think it's important to get the ship repaired. Yes, uh, I think we should bring the ship in, get it repaired, tell the yep. crew to go get raucously drunk in the tavern. Yeah. Ruin whatever they want. Yep. And then... Uh, cause of havoc. Yeah, cause havoc. Just have a great time. Um, but tell everyone that they're fireworks merchants. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. We are not pirates. We're yeah. fireworks merchants. Yes. Do we have anything that <clears throat> uh, they can prove that with? As in, like, okay, how did that purple explosion happen? So the way that purple explosion happened is that Liga <laughs> attempted to make some Molotov cocktails. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She did not roll as many successes as would have been ideal. Mm -hmm. um, so the Molotov cocktails took on a sinister nature. Okay. Um, that was rather delayed uh, because I forgot at the time that she hadn't rolled enough successes and only realized in the edit. 
Mm. Okay. So that was the that was they succeeded a cost on a Molotov yes. cocktail creation roll was that an enormous and obviously magical explosion happened. Okay. We can easily make some magical something or other. So you, you sent Jen and Eric off to tell the crew mm -hmm. that... Uh, eagerly. They, eagerly. They go, aye, aye, Captain. And uh, one thing you notice about Jen and Eric, of course, is Jen is always on the left and Eric is always on the right. Okay. okay. They, they kind of double act. Um, and uh, they, they rush off to tell the crew, find the local bar, get raucously drunk, mm -hmm. tell fireworks people merchants. your fireworks merchants. They are definitely going to remember two thirds of those instructions, yeah. at least. Yeah. Thankfully, that was what they were going to do anyway. Okay, good. Okay. So it doesn't even really affect the running of the ship that they're going to do this. Great, but they do take it to the repair place. Yeah, okay. so they'll, they'll, take it, they'll be taking it around to the ship right, but you will probably need to visit the ship right and discuss terms. Okay. All right. <sighs> Which one of us is best, I guess? Who's, I guess You're most etiquette. Yes, all right. <laughs> so I'll, I'll like walk over to the you're, ship, right? You're all heading down there. It's a, it's a little walk. It's about yes. I mean, we can all go. That's yeah. the first That's thing we should good. do, yes. Well, we're, all, we're, gonna, we're not going to split up this time. Yes, we should all go talk to the shipwrights, and I will discuss terms with them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, one of the things about the Golden Isle is uh, you realize that perhaps one of the reasons they call it the Golden Isle is that it, it is fantastically beautiful. Oh, that's nice. uh, so you're walking along like a beautiful, beautiful golden sands of the isle on the way to the shipwright's office, which is not where the actual hard work of the harbour takes place. Mm -hmm. It's just a place where you discuss terms, sign contracts, agree on repairs. Uh, you walk up, you see a, a, a serious looking gentleman, uh, and the place is called uh, Whitbread Shipwrights. Right. Uh, you might suspect that there's, there's a man standing there with his eyes like this, and he's, he's hammering some nails into something. He's doing some minor repairs. Mm -hmm. And he has a, a young woman standing near him uh, in, in very simple clothing, almost mm -hmm. sort of like, uh, almost like deliberately simple. Uh, and every time he goes to do something on this repair, she looks like this. E. Like scared? And you hear him go, what is it? Lorelai, and she goes, oh, uh, well, it's, it's just that you have such a terrible time with uh, banging your thumb with the hammer. Did you know that you can use the back of the hammer to place it in the right place and do the first hit? And then your old thumb will keep on ticking forever. You'll never hit that thing again. I did see that, and that's very upsetting. And he says, Lorelai, I've been hammering, I've been hammering wood into planks for 40 years. She goes, yeah. And you're getting real good at it. I just thought, uh, I apologize, sir. I didn't, didn't mean to. I'm here to learn from you. So uh, I'll, just, I'll just go ahead and shut my mouth since we seem to have customers. I forgot I was going to be doing this accent in front of someone from Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. <laughs> yeah, it's good. So uh, you going to approach? Yes. Uh, oh, hello. Um, All right. My uh, hello, my crew and I are looking to get our ship repaired. We have uh, sailed it up to the dock. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, looks like it. You guys um, <clears throat> you look like you took some uh, cannon fire there. We did. Uh, some brigands attacked us. We are well-known fireworks merchants. Oh, that's, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, they wanted our secret recipe for purple fireworks, and unfortunately, they all got destroyed in the battle. Oh, uh, well, probably probably for the best. Uh, Lorelai, will you, you go and take a look? And Lorelai goes, well, sure, sure, howdy, I will. <laughs> and she, she sort of wanders off to look at the ship and, and climbs up on deck to give it an inspection. He goes, okay, that's going to be, that's going to be 10 minutes. Oh, no, Lorelai. That's, that's going to be something to enjoy. Sorry, like, so I'm uh, Terry, Terry Whitbread of uh, Whitbread Shipwrights. Oh, okay. Uh, is that your, uh, who, who is that? What is that, your relation or who that is, is that? Uh, that's my apprentice, Lorelai. Oh, well, she seems very enthusiastic. She is ex extremely enthusiastic, yes. Definitely knows exactly what she's doing oh, when well, it comes I mean, to ships. You're, you're paying her, right? She's not an unpaid intern. I've uh, heard about those. No, no, she's, um, <laughs> she's, she is indeed getting paid. Oh, excellent, yes. yes. Um, speaking of getting paid, um, there's quite a lot of damage to your ship. Yeah, we're, we're aware. Um, we, you can, of course, pay in cash. 
um, or gold, anything that you have yeah. available is absolutely fine. You have a, a significant amount. Okay. I think okay. we yeah. got a lot. For yes, we're, we're happy to pay in gold. Um, just uh, and we're we're also uh, very skilled in uh, other ways as well. So if we could pay in gold or favors, or perhaps our crew could do something for you, we are happy to do that. Um, so uh, perhaps your bosun would consider taking on a new apprentice. Oh, I'm sure they would be fine with that. Yes. You don't currently have a bosun. Oh, uh, do you think that Lorelei would be good did as we, a bosun? Did we have previously have a bosun? No, so you have. You currently have never had. You, so there's a there's a long running quest, which is fine. Members fill yeah, out. Right, right, right. You're currently lacking a bosun and a cannon here. Okay. Yeah. And he says, now, here's the thing about ships, in my opinion. You can't really master being a shipwright without living on a ship for a while. Hmm. And I'm worried that I am depriving poor, poor Lorelei <laughs> of the experience of being on board a real pirate ship, a real fireworks merchant ship. Yes, exactly, wink. So if uh, you were to have, perhaps, if your bosun was able to take her as an apprentice, themselves. She seems very skilled. She could be a bosun herself. Oh, fucking probably, yeah. What's a bosun do? They, they fix they the ship. They look after the ship. Mm. I, I think it's that would be uh, excellent. Mm. Uh, we would be happy to have her on the ship. Um, and since you seem on the up and up of the, uh, of, uh, I mean, piracy, I mean, fireworks merchants. Uh, I understand. Um, do, we, do we all think that, um, uh, I'm sorry, one moment, I need his name because he's, uh, uh, Bucky Muffler is uh, a garbage person. Oh, you met Bucky, eh? Mm. Yeah, things have certainly changed around here since Bucky's been in town. Couldn't, uh, don't know if I'd like to comment on the character of Bucky Muffler, you know? I mean, you can, been... be, you can blink twice if you think he's uh, problematic. Um, you know, he's very polite. He's made, it, he's made this town into a much more polite place. But it's does very it have polite around here now? The spirit that it used to have. Oh no, spirit's fucked. That's enough blinks for me. Mm. Yeah, uh, but you know, no harm in him. Never done anything wrong. It's just I don't um, particularly like. I'm a native of the Isles. You see, I was I was born in uh, Bloodtown, and uh, I. Don't, I don't fucking like British people. No, I mean, we none of us like British people. We're on the same no. How do you feel about the name change? I hear there's a big name change. Oh, fucking Mermaid Bay. Yeah, it's all brilliant. Bucky came around and explained to all of us uh, merchants how excited we are about the name change and the amount of business it's going to bring into the town. Yeah, mm. Mermaid Bay now. Terribly proud of telling everyone I live in Mermaid Bay. <laughs> Mm. Really doesn't have the same aura of dread, perhaps, that Hammerhead Bay did, but what can you fucking do, eh? Right. But, uh, yeah, he's running running on a post, so uh, guess why that's does that. A, why doesn't anyone run against him? Oh, because they all think he's going to win and no one wants to do the fucking job. Hmm. Hmm. Someone should I mean, be I mean, would motivated. you want to be in charge of fucking Mermaid Oh, Bay? I know someone who would. Yeah, I mean, we kind of have a candidate. Oh, why you? They're a sleeper candidate. It's <laughs> a really good joke. Honestly. That, I really appreciate it. Let's, let's stop for a minute and appreciate the quality of that joke. <laughs> You're welcome. Let's observe five minutes of silence yeah. for this joke. We're definitely gonna have to wait for the sound crew to um <laughs> to get back oh to get god. back in the game. Oh my god. This is, yeah. <laughs> Just give me a thumbs up when you're ready to go again. Damn. And we'll, uh, Damn, I'm smooth. So that's the good. thing that about it is that it's because the shark is sleeping. I know. Yeah. So that's what yeah, yeah. that's what makes yeah. it that's such so a much better. That's what makes it. Yeah. That's, then what you like? Yeah. Mean, with, if you add that to that. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's so really uh, <laughs> Terry says to you. Terry Whitbread says to you. Um, so. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's definitely an amount of people who would prefer to have some choice in the race. Bucky himself would probably say it's better to have, you know, more options. So if you have a, a sleeper candidate, you know, let, let him know. Yeah. yeah. Town halls tonight. So. Uh, oh, is the vote tonight? No, just a town hall. Oh, okay. Yeah, so just, like uh, where, gonna talk? Where, where we're going to like officially name all of the candidates. Okay, know? okay. Like, so. uh, you know, Bucky. And uh, 
that's it, really. Just Bucky. How, like, I just... How do we get a We're, spirit undrunk if we That's not to. even our biggest problem. Okay, okay. Okay. Our biggest problem is him himself, not even the spirit. We have a lot of problems. So, I could, uh, I could maybe, we could maybe, like... Can one of us pretend to be him? Oh. You can. You're big. <laughs> you can change yourself. I can change myself. Yeah. Perfect. We'll just replace him, no one will know. Yeah. Anyway, yes, excellent, thank you. We're going to get our ship fixed. Uh, how much will it be? Uh, if you take Lorelai with you and I never see her again, it's free. If she ever comes back oh, here, it's full. We're happy to take fall. her with, we're happy to take her with us. And then you hear just, uh, oh gee willikers. That ship sure has taken a, sure has taken a licking. I don't want to deal with this person. Can we just run? How did you all get cannon fire from above? We all fighting with artillery. Yes, the, the fireworks carry the cannonballs sometimes. It's been known in books. Let's go. Yeah, it's very thick smoke. Very dense. Yep. Terry says, I've got great news, Lorelai. Um, you are going to, um, you've been promoted. And she goes, well, gosh, there's only two of us here. Who, who I, I can't have your job. And uh, I keep looking at Tabby to see if I'm passing. <laughs> um, it's, not, it's not worth it. And, uh, and he says, no, you're going to, should you so choose, obviously, you're going to go and live on board this ship, like you've been talking about. You're going to be assistant to their bosun, I guess. Who's your bosun? They're, they, she's going they're, to be the they're bosun. They're going to be no, the bosun. They're, they're going to be the bosun. They definitely exist. She goes, <laughs> well, I've, I've always wanted to be a, a, aboard a ship. Fireworks merchants. Gee golly. Um, if let me let me go get my things and uh, sure. and I'll, uh, I'll 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 go get acquainted with all the crew. Yes, excellent. Uh, they're at the bar, so you might as well meet them there. Wow, by he the built. What a great day this has been. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then she uh, she she heads off. She wants to explore the ship a little bit. Sure. I think. She seems she seems giddy with it. Sure, she's like she just fucking showed up in Disneyland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Oh, by the way, Lorelai Lorelai Harbor. Nice to meet you, Laurel and Harbor. Uh, Harbor. I'm Aura. Harbor. Harbor. That's a okay. very appropriate name. Right, yeah. Oh, I'm um, just checking. I'm Aura. Um, you might just, I'm going to say there might be some weird things to happen on the ship and just uh, don't pay attention to them. Yeah. yeah. Well, sure, worst things happen at sea. <laughs> sure a little bit of, a little bit of sea humor for you guys. Yeah. I'll, I'll, Big fans of that one. I'll, I guess I'll see you at the dive bar later on. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Maybe. We'll be yeah. at the town hall. Yeah. Oh, well, sure, I'll meet you there. Yes. Oh, God. Can't wait to see Bucky give a speech. I love that guy. So friendly. Oh, God. Well, well don't worry. We'll have a chat about that later. Yeah. <laughs> so, where do you, uh, do you have any ideas where you want to head next? Uh, so, we need to have a little bit of a meeting. We need to figure out what we're doing here. So, I feel like we'll just stand outside away from them. Mm -hmm. Am I like, one of us... Wilhelm, can you can you disguise yourself as a the human I, form? I I can, I can. Just give me a moment, <laughs> and I'm gonna walk into the ship, mm -hmm. into a room where no one is there. Into this privately, and I would like to transfer, my, uh, alter myself. Okay. To make myself look pretty much like the normal humanish form. Yeah. Of Apex, yes. Yeah. So you can, uh, <laughs> thankfully, you know uh, Apex relatively well. Mm -hmm. um, so okay. you know, you know, you know what he looks like. Yes. So that is going to be that's a level two effect. How long do you want it to last for? So if you get two successes, mm -hmm. it's going to last for the rest of the scene, which is not going to be enough. Nope. So with three successes or an extra paradox die, um, you could get it to last um, for several hours. When is the town meeting and what time? The time night. if you wanted to get to for the rest of the day, yeah. you're going to need either. Uh, Three successes over margin, mm -hmm. or three paradox die, over, or a, or a mix of those over margin. Yeah, so you could get raw. You could just get five successes, and that would be enough for the rest of the day. You or can you can start it. adding paradox. I don't die. think I need to raw dog it. I think yeah. I think going for paradox. Being a shark for and life. You're gonna be roll six dice. Being a shark for life. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right, we're going for a uh, third for paradox. Life. Again, just a thumbs up when uh, <laughs> you're ready to go again, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
you got I a crit on a paradox. Crit on a paradox. Oh my you, you got a, a you got a crit. I got a crit on the other. Yeah, there's die. a there's a crit on yeah, a paradox. Yeah, that's a, sure a success. Success. And a success. And a success. So that's three. So that's three. You yeah, got, so you, you got a crit, and then you got you two technically extra successes. You got five. Yeah. So here's the thing you can do. Uh, if you hadn't just taken the dice out of the tray, you could have really, you could have tried. So sorry. You could do a willpower roll. Yeah. To re-roll that crit. The paradox crit. You, yes. can, you can't re-roll a paradox die, but you can ro re-roll a normal die with a crit. Right. Got it. To try and not yeah. get a crit. So and this put, was kind of that was what you yeah. laid out. Yep. If you want, you got to spend a point of willpower. Um, or you can just deal with the paradox crit. Mm. So I'd have to re-roll this one die mm. to make sure I didn't get a crit. Yeah. And that would be it. You've got a one in ten chance that this is just going to happen again, which is going to be very funny. Yeah, no, it's very funny. <laughs> um, it's also very funny if I just accept it and I'm a shark for life. Oh, my um, God. I don't think I need to deal with that. So, yeah, let's go for the willpower burn there. Okay. Uh, I will mark it. That's, some, that's advanced dice mechanics. This is like one... Yeah. Die re-roll. Yeah, just re-roll it. Hopefully you don't get another crit. Nope. Normal. Just a success. Normal oh, success? Yep. Yeah, okay. You got the three. So that is three, three successes yes. and you had enough over margin. Okay, so. A lot of shark for life. You use, um, so the flexing mm -hmm. process begins at the toes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> engage those first. Yeah, you have to en Ground really yourself. engage those, get a solid, um, get, your, you know, get your hips underneath you and then like start flexing the necessary muscles in your toes to get them to turn into apexes toes. And then you work all the way up the calves. And the thing about Apex is he's like a, he's like a knot of muscle. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't have very aesthetic muscles, but he just seems to have probably too many of them. Mm -hmm. He looks like in a shark, he looks like a, he's got muscles that are like a shark's teeth, where you get the feeling there's other muscles underneath oh, them okay. just ready mm -hmm. to yeah. come forward. So uh, you get a little bit, get a little bit shorter. Um, and uh, temporary. temporary. Uh, you get a little bit smaller because you're normally colossal. Yeah, yeah. Um, and working your way up, you just flex in the right ways. And then by the time you get to the head, which you make super fucking ugly, and you feel like you actually have to flex your eyes to move them Ew. Ew. so hard. Flexing your eyes, but it's that possible. they that Ew. they move outwards in your head. It's yeah. so hard to do. You've actually got to you kind of have to pull on the ears a little bit. It's part of the trick. Mm -hmm. Um, but you you look functionally identical to Apex. Okay, good. <clears throat> and then I walk out um, off off the dock and I say, "Hello, humans." Just kidding, it's me, Wilhelm. Oh, <laughs> perfect, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> we only plan. Hello, almost hello, almost had me. Hello, commitments. Yeah, so you are now Apex. Okay. This is perfect because I don't think we would have gotten him to behave this long anyway. No. And once he's mayor, then it's the town's problem. Right. So you're, let me make sure I'm clear on the plan because I'll probably have to put it in my notes. Um, you're going to pretend to be uh, Apex. Yes. You're going to be campaigning. And yes. you're yes. going to get to him mayor. mayor. You're going to get him elected as mayor. Yes. And then supplant, is that the right word? Then switch their pla switch places, places with real Apex and be like, hey, and when he wakes up and say, Apex, you're in charge. Here you are, Hammerhead Bay, your waiting subjects, and then they can have a big party and we will sail away. Yep. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Things going to go great. And everything's going to go, go exactly to plan. Yes. Yeah. Yes. If they don't go correct, we'll play the game, which is what's <laughs> happening right now. <laughs> so the most dangerous game? You've got. If they don't, and we also have to get rid of the sinister Dr. Flash in between all of that. And it's a B quest. Yes. Well, you know that his circus is there. You don't know that the sinister Dr. Flash that's is there. That's right. Himself. That's right. He would found it hard to get here before you. That's true. That's true. Um, and indeed, word of his death is likely just not spread to the Golden Isle yet. Possibly, yes. Well, we have to get rid of his circus. Yeah. So you're presumably planning on being in uh, in town for the town hall. That's this evening. What would you like to do in the meantime? Mm -hmm. Would you like me to run through some things that you can do that you were told by Bucky Muffler? We go to the dive bar. Yeah, you can go to the dive bar. You can, can go to the uh, circus. You can go and check out the circus. It's not open yet. Yes, yeah, true. Um, there is also a bounty office that you can go and check out uh, if you wanted to take on any bounties um, and be basically a cop. No, we don't want to be a cop. Um, no. We're not cops. I no. think it's. I think it would be smart for Apex to or Will Wilhelm Apex. Wilpex. Wilpex, yeah, for Wilpex to a go, a helm, to go to the. Uh, 
local bar mm -hmm. and buy everybody. Oh yeah. Yes. Every local around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Locals only. Smart. Round. Okay. Mm -hmm. Type situation. So yeah, yeah, obviously. Um, I told you to plan before we did it, but that's what we're doing. That's what I wanted. To do. Smart. That's smart. That's the kind of candidate we need. Yep. Yes, exactly. <laughs> everybody <laughs> fucked I, up. I'm starting to feel like yeah. character a little too uh -huh. much. Uh -huh. Did everybody uh -huh. fucked up? Yes. Um, <laughs> So uh, you head to the dive bar. Uh, you can see it's got like a novelty entrance to it uh, that was clearly a, used to be a shark's mouth. Mm. Right. Um, and they've kind of tried to make like the shark's mouth look like an inviting mermaid's mouth. Like, uh, no. That's, like, it's smi like it's smiling. No. Ew. It's an extremely sinister looking mermaid. Oh. You suspect that Bucky is probably going to have this changed as soon as he's in power and able to do so. Yeah. Uh, Will Pex ducks but doesn't need to, mm -hmm. to enter. That sounds yeah, like. you're used to ducking. Yeah, I'm used things, to ducking, yeah. but I don't need to. So you head into the dive bar. Uh, there is a glass tank in the middle of the bar mm. where a rather listless mermaid is swimming around. A real mermaid? Well, so it's a... Swell. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely... A, it's a woman with a tail. Okay. Uh, it's a sort of... Uh, it's a rather sad-looking sort of grey tail, and she's... Uh, it's clearly sort of been tied on. Okay. She doesn't look like she wants to spend that much time in the water, so she spends most of it sort of sunning herself All right. on the on on the rocks, and occasionally sort of goes in and and splashes around. Okay. And, and you know, she's the she's the mermaid, but um, not technically a mermaid. Yeah, she's. I don't. You you don't get the impression that this is a real mermaid. No, her tail is of uh, poor manufacture. Mm. You're also. This place is full of your fucking crew. <laughs> cool. Who are all being dipshits. Cool. I mean, um, as instructed. Yeah. Um, great. You also see the so there's a, a man in uh, in what looks like f like full plate armor, out of place. <laughs> standing in standing in the middle of the bar. Okay. In front of the mermaid's tank, mm. and he has an enormous tower shield. He doesn't appear to have any other weapons. Okay. He's got plonked in front of him, and he's standing between you, but not sorry, between the mermaid in the tank. And some locals who look like they want to get up and and interact with the mermaid more closely, mm. uh, possibly by tapping on the glass. There is a sign that says "Do not yeah, tap on the glass." Um, and you hear him say, "Look here, you ruffians!" What color is the armor? Uh, the armor is shining silver. Okay. Yeah, it's very very nicely done. Wow! He goes, "Look here, you ruffians!" You will leave Marie the mermaid alone. You will not tap on the glass, or so help me. I will give you a thrashing, or my name's not Stuart Hemingway Fife. These names. And then the local goes, Fuck off, Stuart, you're fucking bellend. And then all his friends go, You're a fucking bellend, Stuart. You're a fucking bellend. It's, it's, it's an insult. It's an insult, yeah. <laughs> I and gathered goes, that much. Uh, and he says, Well, just keep talking. Keep telling me that I'm a ballad. Sing your little song. See if Stuart Hemingway Fife cares. You'll never get past my shield. And he plonks his shield down. Okay. Not a lot of them look like they're going to try and get around it, but it's difficult. He's in a very strong defensive position. Yeah. He's in yeah. full plate armor. And they're trying, no, fuck it. I want to knock it in the glass because you told me I couldn't. So fuck off. Uh, and he's not getting anywhere. He's continually just being pushed back by the shield. And eventually... This guy goes, if we all fucking get him all at once, we'll fuck, we'll f f fuck him up. And then Stuart realizes that he probably could fuck him up before we do it. So he uh, says, okay, quick, 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 go, go buy everyone drinks, distract them. <laughs> so you head up to the bar. And as you see this, and these men are just about to attack Stuart, mm -hmm. he goes, plop, now. Plop? <laughs> and you see a very unassuming, almost urchin-like figure in the crowd hits a red button on a box and a cannon pops out. What the fuck? And you hear a tremendous boom. <laughs> and this man is flung across the bar. He seems oh to have been God. hit by some kind of like, it's not a cannonball, but like a beanbag or something like sure. that. Sure. <laughs> flies across the bar and smashes into it and then falls to the, to the ground unconscious. What the hell? And Stuart Plop. says, well done, Plop. I see I won that battle. <laughs> Would any more of you like to challenge me? Hmm? He puts his tower shield down and they go, no. Nah. It's <laughs> fucking. And then they walk away and go, get fucked, Plop. And Plop doesn't look like particularly cares. 
Rude. Stuart Hemingway Fife draws himself up to his full height, stands behind his shield again, and continues protecting his mermaid. Okay. Meanwhile, <laughs> you guys <laughs> like... go up to the bar. Uh, the barman is, uh, it's actually a bar, a bar lady. She says, uh, yeah, uh, welcome to the, uh, welcome to the shark, but to, fuck, sorry, welcome to the, welcome to the, what is it again? I just know, you're trying to say shark bait, and we'll keep it that way. Say it. Shark bait, and we'll keep it that way. And you hear a, <laughs> In fact, anybody who, uh, knows the, tr who goes by the true name of Hammerhead Bay, uh, drinks are on me tonight. Apex, your future... Ma mayor. 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 So as you say this, everyone in the bar goes, Way! Apex! Apex! Now a lot of the people in this bar, of course, are, are your crew. So they're particularly confused because they think of Apex as kind of a dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but free beer is free beer. Exactly. Free oh, grog, yeah, whatever care. it is. Right. Yay! And, uh, and yeah, they, they start celebrating you. And uh, one of them comes up and goes, so you're gonna be mayor? That's the plan. Yeah. I, uh, I believe, uh, you know, my uh, father was born here, right in the bay. He, I, uh, he was a hammerhead. Oh! Uh, and I am of, of his kin, and therefore I believe this uh, should be mine, and should have its original name. Well, as long as you kick the shit out of the British, we're fine with that. Of course. Yes. Everyone, three cheers for Apex! Hooray! 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 And I'm like, kick the shit out of the British! And everyone goes, Three cheers for kicking the shit out of the British! Yeah, yeah. Yay! And I like hand some gold, like, to like yeah, you put some gold. So yeah. I'm gonna take some gold out of the treasure chest for that because it's yeah. quite a big expenditure. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you spend a good few hours carousing with uh, with the residents of Mermaid Bay, hmm. and we will discuss more about the exact shape of that carousing next time on Mage of Sail. I didn't say the thing, but I don't always need to say it. It's not like a rule. I'm going to say it. We'll burden our souls. <laughs> Doesn't feel right with, these, with those secrets next time on Mage of Sale. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. All very important things. If you're really enjoying the show, please do check us out on Patreon, uh, where you'll get access to cool art. You'll get songs I wrote. I'll probably put the lovely Dave song up there, which you don't understand if you just watch this episode, because that was part of last week's episode. Bye. Bye. <laughs>